Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's solve decode uh, sum of subarray ranges. So we are given an integer array nums and the range of the subarray nums is the difference between the largest and smallest element in the subarray. So here is an example. One for the nums, one and two and three. There are this is a subarray, and the subarray only contains the one, so the largest minus smallest is zero because the largest number and the smallest number are the same number. And also, it has an, another subarray that only contains two and three, or a subarray that is from the one to two or two to three. So, if it, it is from one to two, in the largest minus the smallest is one and if the subarray is one two three and so the largest is three and the smallest is one so the non-answer is two and then we need to sum all of the range so i need to sum at the zero and zero and zero here 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 and then one one two one one two so the answer is four the brute force way is to like to we find out how many subarrays there and then we find out the smallest number and the biggest number in each subarray and then um sum all of the range together and then get the answer. So that is from for this four in for this subarray we have the mix we have the maximum four in the minimum negative two and to start also start from four we can also um, produce this subarray from four to minus three so in this way the maximum is four and the minimum is negative three time capacity will be n squared and the space complexity would be a constant. So if there any more com efficient way, especially in the follow up questions, it acts us with uh, all of n time complexity. Yes, we can do it. So, uh, now uh, let's solve this problem with this example string. So we have one, three, two, zero, and four. No, first we want to consider we want to find out the maximum number in this sub range and also this sub array and then this sub array so after we find out all of the maximum number in each sub array uh, let me denote that as the maximum number and i give a num i give a um counter that x the i. I want to maximum them. And then after I found out all the maximum number in each subarray, let me give it a note uh, a notation. So for example I have this one. So and I have the maximum in the subarray i. And I also can find out the minimum in the subarray i. So that is the range i. And then I, f I will find out the next subarray. For example, if this is i and this is the i plus 1. So here i plus 1 is equals to the range i plus 1. So did you find out the regular, the, the format here? So in in order to sum up all of the range i can sum up all of the maximum value and sum up all of the minimum value and subtract the minimum value from the min, subtract the minimum value from the maximum value so i can f actually find out the maximum value and 
minimum value separ separately, then it will equal all equals to the range. The question was simplified to how do I find the maximum and the minimum number in each subarray? Uh, actually, we can rethink this problem as if there are a subarray like this one, and we have m plus one and m m plus two. Uh, actually, if there is an array like this, and we find out the number here, it is the maximum between like from this index to this index. That is the maximum number between this range. Then whenever the subarray, it contains, no matter it contains uh, this part or this part, or even this part, then the maximum number would be the m plus one. So if I want to sum the sum up the maximum number in this range, then I can use the m plus one and multiply it by like the number p of subarrays. So the question now becomes like, how do we find out this number? And how do we find out the range? Let us use the stack, monotonic stack, to find the subarray that contains the maximum number of the, um, the value in our nums. So here, first, so, uh, our index are here since the stack is empty so we can just put the one here put this value to the one and then the zero so since zero is smaller than one so it cannot pop out of the one you can just put it here and not two so two is bigger than the zero it's bigger than the top of the stack so the zero is pop out so I move the zero here. And then before we process into the next index of the four, we um, want to know, so what is the uh, right side and the left side of the subarray that contains the maximum number of zero. So since the zero is popped out by the two, we know that um, the maximum the, the, the 2 is bigger than the 0. So uh, the 0 is, it, it can go to the index of 2 minus 1. And the left side, it can go to the, the next element in the stack is 1. So from the left side, it can go from to the, um, the element of the in a, a, a of the stack 0 and plus 1 so from right side is 2 minus 1 is 1 and 0 minus uh, 0 plus 1 is also the 1 so let's check from 0 it is true that um, the 0 is the maximum with the subarray of itself so it can be sub uh, the maximum in this array in this range from 1 to 1 so after that, we can um, now we want the, to put the in the stack. But wait, here is still an element one in the stack, and one is smaller than two, so the one is pop out here. So what is the right most index of the subarray that contains the one as the maximum number? So that is the right side. It is. The index we want to put, or the 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 number that pop out the one is two, right? So the index is the index of two, so it is two, and minus one is one. And the left side, so since there is no element here, on the bottom, on the next level of the stack, so we can just use the zero. 
uh, it means from the left side is expands to the zero index of the array. So let's check for one, right? Um, so it is uh, the subarray that contains one and the subarray that use the one as the maximum number is like from the index zero to index one. Right, so it is zero to one. Okay, so now we can pop out zero and pop out one and the put here, put the two in the stack. And the next index is four. So the four is bigger than two. So we want to take the two out and pop out two here. So again, when it when the element is popped out, we have to check its range. So um, the subarray that contains the two as the maximum number, so the right most index of like it is pop out pop out by the four. So um, a, the index is three, the index of four, so it is three minus one is two. And the left side of it is since there is no um, element remain in the stack, so we can just use zero here. Okay, so let's check. Yeah, it is for the two as the biggest string, as the, as the biggest number in the subarray, it is from the zero index all the way to two, and it's zero to two. So two is pop out, and we put I'll put four here and then move to the next index three a three is smaller than four so we cannot pop out the four so we put um three here okay there is no elements renaming renaming in the array right but there are still some numbers in this stack so in order to pop out the elements of three and four this is a trick we append the uh the maximum numbers of a language for example if that is a python then we can uh, put the infinity number here in in the end of the array so um whenever there are some elements re rename in the stack the maximum number could always pop out this element so now uh, we want to put the m in the stack and find out the three is smaller than the m so three is pop out three is here in the right side and the left side the right side is so the in the index of the m is five so the right side is 5 minus 4 is 1 and oh sorry it's not 5 minus 4 so the right side is the four, 5 minus 1 is 4 and the left side is let's check so it has a element here in the stack right and the 4 is in index 3 so the left side is 3 plus 1 and that is 4. So the element 3, the biggest, um, the subarray that contains 3 as the maximum is the subarray stuff from 4 and ends to a 4. Yeah, so we can only find this subarray that it is itself. 3 is pop out. And then there is a four. So we also have to pop out the four here because four is smaller than the uh, infinity number. Then so it is smaller than M. So uh, the four of the right side and the left side. Okay, so the right side is the index of these elements. So it is five minus one, it is four. And the 
the left side so let's check there is no elements here right it's all empty so we can just put zero here and now let's check for the uh, four so what is this is the sub array they can um use the four is the maximum number yeah so you can start from zero all the way to index four so it is from zero to four and that is true so now let's check so if we have a range some like this one and the maximum number is four so this is a sub array here the range of the sub array so how many sub arrays do you are contains the four as the maximum number you can use can, we can take zero and two and four that is a sub array one and here are the sub array two so we can also take two and four and then for the right side we can take four and three and also can take four only in left side we also have a four only so if we want to take zero to four we can map it to four three it means we take all of this one or we can take map it to four it means we only take from uh zero to two to four so here we have three choices and here we have two choices so the sub array the number of sub array is three times two equals to six so map to our stack here all of the we we all have a right index and the left index so here is our right index and this is our left index and the index of four is the elements that is that is pop out from the stack so let's call it j so how many sub arrays there it is um right index minus j and plus one and multiply by j minus left and plus one so there are this number of sub arrays there so after we have the number of sub arrays then we can use this number and multiply by four so and this is the uh, max contribution of the all the sub arrays that contain the four as the maximum number and here i just uh, elaborate how we can find the maximum number in the sub array but still we have to find the minimum number but um the minimum number is just the opposite logic of the maximum number so uh i will not to i will not explain it again uh, you can try it yourself and now let's jump to coding part